What's going on? Before I start, please excuse this pimple that is pimping on my face. But anyways, <clears throat> What's good to YouTube? I wanted my first video of 2017 to be a positive video. So for all of y'all that are watching this, I want you to know that if you have a dream in life or a vision or any type of goal that you want to accomplish, just do it. What did he just say? Just do heat. I myself know that it's easier said than done, but at the end of the day, all you can do to accomplish your goals is just do it. The road to success is a very bumpy ride, but I promise you that the ride is definitely worth it. The three things that I think you should do to become successful is be consistent, be intentional and show off your God-given talent. Show off and showcase what you naturally do with ease that somebody else would struggle to do. A lot of y'all need to realize that not everybody makes it off of luck. Some people are just truly hardworking and talented. And don't get me wrong, you can be taught how to do a lot of talented things and improve your performance and that talent, but nothing is better than gaining success off of something that you naturally do well. So I advise that if you want to be successful, just make sure it's off of something that you naturally do well. If you know you're not naturally funny, if you know you can't rap well, if you know that you can't draw, etc., don't try too hard to become successful doing those things. If there's something that you naturally do well, just stick with that thing and see how far it takes you. I just talked about showing off your God-given talent. Now let me talk about being consistent and being intentional. If you know what your intentions are on finding success and you know what you want to get and you keep consistently working to get that thing, eventually you're going to get what you want. I remember when I first started making vines, <laughs> nobody was messing with me. I barely got any likes, any revines, or any comments at all. I did hit you, I'm so strong. The only type of comments that I usually got were almost always negative comments. I swear, people would just be at home on their phone and comment under my vines like, Is he sir? Uh, uh, -uh. Mm -mm. Paul, please just stop making videos because all of them are corny. All you're doing is just embarrassing yourself on the internet. <sighs> but I just stayed consistent and kept making vines daily and my attentions were to gain a lot of followers. And look at me now. Look at me now. Oh, look at me now. Yeah. yeah. Fresh to the mall. 10,000 plus followers on every social media app that I'm on. I'm the perfect example of saying anything is possible because I definitely didn't think that I would get to where I am now. And if you saw my old vines, you wouldn't think so either because... They were terrible. But like I said earlier, I was intentional and I kept consistently making videos and improving my craft. And now my videos are better than ever and I'm successful in what I do. And you could be successful too. Wait a minute, that rhymed. Um, but anyway, there's no reason why you shouldn't be chasing your dream because the only person that can stop you from doing what you want to do is you. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I don't want to hear beep. And I know that there could be a lot of obstacles in your way. The biggest obstacle in a lot of people's ways now is haters. But y'all know the saying. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't poppin'. You ain't poppin'. So I beg you, please don't let anything that anyone says bring you down, though. Because at the end of the day, haters are really just fans that are jealous of you. And jealousy is just love and hate at the same time. So if you have any haters, they're just jealous that you're doing something that they can't do. And they just hate you because they love it. And to be honest, you shouldn't even care about what someone says about you on the internet. Because 99.9 .9 of those people that say negative stuff on the internet would never say it to your face. And even if they do say it in your face, so what? You're doing you to benefit you, not them. And if they're not doing anything to benefit you, then their opinion should be irrelevant. So the next time that somebody says something negative to you, just tell them, BAM! Hold your lips. And you're gonna get bad criticism in everything that you do, point blank, period. So you can't let what anybody says affect you. And I could take y'all back again to the Vine days because when I used to make Vines, I would approach some of my closest friends like, <laughs> Hey bro, I just made this new Vine, you think it's funny? And they would just be honest with me and respond like, I mean, uh, mm -mm. no. Not everybody is gonna like you or like what you do, so you can't keep trying to please everybody when everybody isn't trying to please you. So to end this video off, I just want you to know that you can do whatever you put your mind to and the world is yours. Remember that.